Hey guys, and welcome to Kiki and Parrots. And this is my first video, so please enjoy it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I've worked with parrots all my life, so I have generally an idea of what I'm talking about. And please don't forget to subscribe to my new channel. So we're first gonna talk about parrots and what they need. All parrots have different moods. Just cause your best friend Vicky has an amazing cockatoo doesn't mean your cockatoo is gonna come exactly the same thing as your best friend's. Just cause you see in shows and stuff does not mean that your cockatoo or any type of parrot is gonna turn out to be like the one you saw on TV. Parrot scream. Now this is a really dumb one, but really some parents, or how I should say owners, don't realize that parrots don't learn how to quiet. Some people are like, oh, I'll train my cockatoo or my budgie to be really quiet. That doesn't work. Parrots will scream. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, how trained you are with parrots. They will scream. Sure, they might become silent for moments, but they will scream. And every parrot varies from how much they scream. And that could be a totally different video if you want me to talk about parrot screaming and stuff. But I will later in the video talk about which parrot is right for you. Just continue watching. Okay guys, it is me, Lama MLP, but let's go on with the video. Parrots require a lot of time, and if you do not have that, sorry to say, but you, you just can't have a parrot. like. Parrots become your flock when you get them. Like, you just. We'll make another video on this getting real in depth, but let's go on to the next part. So, of the video. parrots can end up with various different diets. And by this, I mean your one parrot could love just, you know, different types of fruits and vegetables than your other parrot. Now, there's nothing wrong with parrots liking something else. It's like humans. Like, some people like Italian food, some people don't like it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just. Your parrot can't and won't eat anything it doesn't want to, so forcing it to eat anything it doesn't want to will lead you to having an unhappy parrot, and you can make that totally different video if you want us to. So parrots also need a lot of room to roam around and climb around. Parrots in the wild have trees and they have to run around and, well not run around, they fly around and they have branches and all these different types of things they could do. But when they're at your house, you have to make sure they don't get bored. So this is where you come in, buying them treats and toys and teaching them tricks and allowing them to roam your house freely. Now, if you live in a small house, having a big parrot might be an issue, but we'll talk about that in just a second. So affording a parrot, some parrots cost $25, but that's without a cage at some pet stores while others can cost up to way more than a thousand to up to three thousand dollars. Now for some people they're like, yeah, we're willing to spend it. But for others they're like, this is too much money. And you should really think about, hey, what type of parrot am I going to get and can I afford it? And we'll talk about that. But also you can always rescue a parrot. Rescuing, rescue if you don't have the money to like buy a bird or a parrot rescuing is actually cheaper and you're taking a bird that is from a not so nice home and hopefully bringing it into a nice home which i assume you have because you're, you're coming here like obviously yeah so, so the, the big, big question, question is what, what type parrot do, do I buy? buy? Thanks for messing that up, You're MLP welcome. I'm Llama. Such a good, is it Llama MLP? I'm sorry. <laughs> I have the worst that. sister. But what parrot do so I buy? Small birds or parrots, per se, are really great for people who are like, I don't really want a big cage and I don't really have enough time for birds. But all birds require a lot of time and Love patience. Your birds. So don't be like, oh, I can just leave it in the cage all day. No. These guys require a lot of love and they do require flight time and they want to be outside their cage and roam around. But buddies are usually known or parakeets are known for being just in the cage being untamed, which is totally fine as long as you're treating them right, giving them food and all that. But there are videos on YouTube that can allow you to make your buddy become tamed and come onto your hand. And I've taken the privilege to, uh, privilege to 
you know, mark it. So the circle and the color go with the name. The color so green, to the other color yes, green yes, cheek parrot, sense. monk parakeet, and parakeet slash budgies. Now these are small, but can be considered a medium sized parrot. Now it all depends. If you Google it up, they're gonna be called small parrots, but they can also be called medium parrots. So it really depends on you know what type of bird you want now these birds are generally if you're looking if you're going to compare them to a the size of a macaw they're going to be considered small if you're going to consider them to the size of a cockatoo still small now these are a sun contour a cockatiel and a rainbow lorikeet now these are very good pets and if you're like which one talks they all talk all parrots can talk it just depends on how much of a capacity they have and also depends on what you're going to teach them so this um the red is the indian ringneck which is about the length of a pencil and then the scaly headed are about 20 inches and then the hans macaws which are these they're really cute um they are about 24 inches? my favorite topic and my favorite type of bird per se are you know the macaws and everybody really does love the macaws they're bright they're beautiful and there's many types of macaws there's blue and golden scarlet macaw green wing and there's many generations and forms and all these types of things so if you're looking to get a macaw they are a hassle and they're way bigger than what they look like in photos and they require a lot of time. But these are all large birds. We have African Grey, Cockatoo, Electus. Now, if you're a breeder, you'll know which one's which. So, I mean, that's a great thing about it. You Leave know which one's the... Below. Leave a comment down below if you know which one's the male, which one's the female. And then we have a yellow-headed nape. Amazon. So they all parrots require loving homes. Bigger the cage, the better. And we can talk about a whole video about what type of cage you need for your parrot, what type of food they require and all that in another video. And you can leave a comment down below if you have any parrot issues or if you're worried about, hey, I want to get a parrot, but I'm not sure. And if we answered one of your questions, let us know down in the comments below that, hey, you answered my question. That's great. And we're going to respond to you as soon as possible. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments down Thanks below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Bye. To be a parrot lover today. Subscribe to be part of the family. Bye. Bye. Well, thanks, Llama MLP, for joining me on this first video. You better write featuring Llama MLP so you can get more views. Duh. That better be. You're not recording, right? Yes, I. Oh, oh no! Bye.